In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, like Martha, in today's Gospel, we can be anxious and worried about many things when entertaining people. We can learn something from Mary. We can go out of our way to be attentive to others. We can spend time listening to their stories. They need to be listened to just as much as they need to be served. The same is true in our life of faith. What the Lord wants of us, first of all, is to be close to Him, to put our trust in Him amid life's concerns. And for the many times that we have forgotten that, for the many times that we have not put the Lord as the first and our priority sa buhay natin, we call to mind, we remember, and we ask for forgiveness. And we all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Abraham welcomes strangers with the greatest hospitality, not knowing that they are angels of the Lord. Abraham's hospitality prefigures the welcome that Jesus receives from Martha and Mary in the Gospel. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, as he sat in the entrance of his tent, while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourselves. 
and afterward you may go on your way. The man replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender, chose a steer, and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set this before the three men. And he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, Where is your wife Sarah? He replied, There in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul suffers many things in the course of preaching the gospel, but he takes joy in his suffering because he knows he bears it with Christ and it produces merits for the whole church. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake. And in my flesh, I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages, and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ngayon umaga po, I know that to most of you, if not all of you, 
tomorrow you're going to go back to your work, right? Busy na naman the entire week. And that's why you traveled to this place. Accessible na nga po kasi. Kaya mapunta nga ng manawag, makapagsimba man lang. No? But make no mistake about it, tomorrow many of you will be going back to work. And the same thing with us. Minsan nga medyo uh, sobra pa kasi linggo, busy dito. And then tomorrow, also busy rin. Last Monday was quite a long day for me particularly. Uh, it started with, uh, with our usual morning prayer and then Mass. And then right after breakfast, uh, I had a meeting preparing for our school. Uh, nasa preparation na nga po kasi ng, high, ng, uh, uh, ng coming school year. We're going to do it high flex. And then the, the half of the morning was spent uh, discussing that. And then afterwards, I went to another meeting that is in the finalization yung project natin ng Center for the Poor or Charity Center dito po sa likod, no? Dito sa Minor Basilica. We're finalizing that. The design is already okay when it will start. So the entire morning was spent with that. And then lunch, and then after lunch, a little bit of break. And then we had our very long monthly meeting. We call it chapter and council meeting where the entire community would discuss about the things that's happening in the basilica, in the seminary, in the school, and in the parish. So lahat po yan nagre-report. So yung four entities na yon. So we had a very long uh, day and we ended at 6.30. At pagkatapos po noon, gusto ko na lang gawin ay matulog. Don't even have uh, the, the, the desire to eat. So ko na lang matulog. Ito na, alas 7, tumatawag na yung isang teacher namin. Sabi, Father, my, I think my mom is about to go. She needs anointing. May magagawa ba ako? Wala. Bangon. And then went for the anointing. And then after the anointing, I told the driver, sabi ko, mauna ka na, maglalakad na lang ako pa uh, It was a good, a good thing for a reflection on what happened during the day. And then when I read the gospel that we read today, on Sunday, 16th Sunday, about Martha and Mary, I realized that what I had last Monday was actually an experience of the both, of both. Almost the entire day was spent like Martha. Aligaga, meeting dito, meeting doon, decision dito, decision doon, uh, gawa dito, gawa doon, busy, 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 just like you. And then I was about to rest. And perhaps the Lord did not allow me to simply experience the Martha during that day. That's why I, ako yung tinawagan na mag-anoint. And then during the anointing, usually naman po, yung mga naka-experience na ng anointing ng relatives, friends, or family members here, ang ando doon lang naman yung pamilya, di ba? Yung mga anak, uh, and then yung mga relatives praying those who are close to the person. And as I was anointing, they were praying. Some were crying, some were telling stories. And then we're there, just very close. Mabibilang mo lang sa daliri yung mga ando doon. And when I'm coming back, walking, I realized that I had a whole day working about many things concerning. Important things, just like what you've been doing. Important things, working for your family, earning for your family, working a lot for them the entire day. And I told myself, I deserve a good rest. I just want to sleep. But the Lord did not allow me to simply experience Martha. And then that very short span of time, 30 minutes, may lang naman po ang anointing, made me realize one thing. That Martha is not the only thing important, but in fact, the Mary in us is very important. And in that anointing, I was made to realize again kung ano yung importante sa buhay. Family. Those who are close to the dying, nagingalo na po, in fact, 
the next day, uh, uh, the person you know, went back to the Lord. But he did not go back to the Lord without teaching a lesson. Teaching a lesson to this tired person. And that is what I was so busy about many things, but I might be forgetting about one of the most important things that is our relationship with God, our relationship with one another. My dear friends, kapag nagbasa kayo ng mga literature on, uh, on the homily of uh, Martha and Mary, lal- laging pinagsasabong yung dalawa. Sino mas importante? Si Martha o si Mary? But truth be told, importante yung dalawa sa buhay natin. Diba? Kung hindi kayo magtrabaho, walang kakainin. Kung hindi kayo maghanap buhay, anong pang tuition? Kung hindi kayo maghanap buhay, anong pang bayad uh, sa mga bayarin? So Martha is important. But what is being reminded to us by the Lord in the gospel is that perhaps because of our busyness, we forget that that's not the only thing that is important. In fact, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon doon sa Ebanghelyo, Mary has chosen the better part. She, he, he is not saying that Martha is not doing anything good. Martha is doing something good. But along the way, she might be forgetting the better part of our lives. And what is that? Our relationship and our communion with the Lord. Putting first the Lord in our lives. Kaya nga po, andito kayo. Last stress pa lang na madaling araw eh. Kumakatok na kayo sa gate. Last kwatro, naghahanap na ng misa. No? Uh, ngayon po, alas ais pa rin ang misa namin. But come August, pagka Saturday and Sunday, and then uh, holidays of obligation, magsisimula naman po kami ng 5 o'clock mass. Eh, dangan kasi, alas tres pa lang, andyan, pa, andyan na kayo sa gate. No? Kumakatok na. Gisingin nyo na si Father, andito na kami magmisa. Ayan. Pero magsisimula na po kami ng 5 o'clock mass next, uh, next month. Kaya yung mga maaga-agang dumarating dito, no? you can already expect to have 5 o'clock mass no? uh, every Saturday, Sunday, and then holidays of obligation. Dear friends, going back to the gospel, it tells us about Martha and Mary, that part sa buhay natin. We work, we continue to work, but we do not forget that what is important at the end of the day, last Sunday, last Monday, it was at the end of the day that I was made to realize the most important element sa buhay natin. And, and I saw Nanay gasping for air, gasping for breath, and then uh, preparing to return to the Lord. I know, sabi ko sa sarili ko, darating ka rin sa ganyang pagkakataon. Darating ka rin sa ganyang situation. And that was a good reminder to me, and perhaps by extension to all of us here in this church, that we will be very, very busy again. Tomorrow, Tuesday, the coming days, the coming week. But remember the reminder of the Lord. Mary has chosen the better part. And hopefully, we will also do that sa buhay natin. We work, we get tired, but we don't forget the most important element, the most important relationship sa buhay natin. Kindly all stand. All together, I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken through the prophets, 
I believe in one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to you, Heavenly Father, that our lives may be marked by a deep love for you manifest in listening, hospitality, and service to others. And full of trust, we pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, may those who exercise authority in the church and in the government listen and learn from you so that they may truly be humble servants. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, may those who dedicate themselves to the care of their families or to the service of the sick, the poor, and the handicapped learn to give themselves in joyful service and in love. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, may those who are anxious and upset about many things at home or at work know how to give priority to the more important things so that they may spare themselves from useless anxiety. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, may we value the ministry of listening and understanding as we journey towards becoming a synodal church we pray lord listen to our prayer lord may the sick the old the handicapped and the dying be renewed by the consoling presence of the holy spirit so that they may unite their pains and sufferings with christ we pray we also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, for their health, and for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, listen to our prayer. We also pray in a very special way for all those who are suffering because of the anxiety, having mental health issue, particularly in this time of pandemic. We pray that they may find consolation in the words of the Lord. We pray. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that in the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bago ko po ibigay yung final blessing, muli po, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalaw sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at maraming maraming salamat sa pakikisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. Um, we ask for your prayers na sa pagsisimula po ng construction po ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag uh, Charity Center. Uh, ito po ay uh, kung saan namin gagawin yung, uh, mga, yung charity clinic. Uh, magkakaroon po ng charity clinic. Magkakaroon din po ng free legal assistance desk doon po sa space po na yon. At doon na rin po namin gagawin yung uh, ginagawa po namin nutri program 
which is the feeding program para po sa mga bata and then also the education program para sa mga bata uh, going into grade 1. So we ask for your prayers na sana po ay maging maayos yung pagsisimula at yung pagpapatuloy po ng construction and we continue to seek for your support and for your prayers. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now... We shall now say the prayer po for the blessing ng mga may sakit. May mga may sakit dito, nasa bahay, nasa hospital, your relatives and friends. We include them in our prayers. And this is to be followed by the prayer po for the blessing ng inyong religious articles. After the prayer of blessings, stay where you are. Kami na po ang iikot para po sa pagbabasbas. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa inyong religious articles, Let's bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.